Hello and welcome to part two of this project. This is a cowboy style sporin that I'm making for my dad. I hope you enjoy. Here's the front piece of um, plastic. I cut out a new this accent because I didn't like the old one. Um, I ironed this cloth Unfortunately, it shrunk a tiny bit, <laughs> but if I stretch it out, it'll fit, so I'll have to do that. Um, I've marked out and punched holes for the different accents and for the horseshoe holes and for where the... These are going to be um, two leather... This uh, is... I think it's kangaroo leather. I don't know. Anyway, these, this leather cord will uh, come to here and then be attached to a, a cloth tassel and it'll have this cross pattern so I put the holes there to sew the rings that the leather is going to attach to. Here I'm trying to sew on this little D-ring. thin this piece out here and here so it'll fit nicely underneath the horseshoe. This, what I have here in my hands, is the back of the sporin. And I've decided to go around and stitch the fabric to this plastic that I'm using to make the sporin rigid. I've decided to stitch it first. Um, I didn't do this with the front. And I, it didn't end up being a problem, but it just would have been better, I think, if I had. But um, I've just gone along and run a stitch through these holes that I poked to make sure that this is centered and tight to the back. Okay, these, this is how these two pieces go together. Um, this I'm gonna attach here. The problem is there's this little bit of leather that makes it so that um, 
it can't, this snap can't get as close to there as I want it to be. So I'm gonna cut off the back, sorry, I'm gonna cut off the back half and then fold this front half over and glue it. Okay, so I need to make uh, this part here, which is where the sporin strap attaches. I'm not gonna do it this way where this thing can slide back and forth. I actually don't know why they do it this way, but um, I'm just gonna make this part here and sew it directly to the back. So I'm gonna make a paper template first. That was a pretty good uh, approximation of the middle. Now the thing is, this has to fold in. pretty good. This is what I'll be using for the D-ring. So I wanted to check to be sure it fit on my template. And it doesn't. <laughs> I'm glad I checked. Okay, so now I can refine that. Okay, so I've poked holes in the back to try to have a way to sew through the plastic easily. And so to find where the holes are, I've poked needles through the back, through the front, and then that way I can line it up with the holes in the front. Thank you for joining me for part two of this project. Please consider checking out some of my other videos. Look at it.